Good day and welcome to another Analytics On Demand Education Module. This module is a five minute introduction to how to use the export feature in Nankreef Analytics. Analytics was designed to allow its information to be easily exportable to Excel in other formats. It comes with a series of pre-configured Excel templates you can extend to your specific needs. The format is a flat file structure that is easily imported into any third-party application. The templates can be downloaded one at a time by clicking the template link next to the report icon. Later, we will show you how you can download all of the associated templates and macros from the knowledge base. To begin, let's start by downloading the Market Performance Report template from the Analytics homepage. We can launch the Market Performance Report, then from there we can use the Export button to save the data to Excel. This may take a few seconds for the data to download. The easiest way to connect the data to the template is to use the Excel Move or Copy command. Let's move the exported tab, Table 1, to the end of the template file. Excel may need a minute to recalculate and fill in the proper data into the report. When complete, switch to the Report tab to see the full report. While the template contains some complex equations, you can link to individual tables of data to create the charts and with some Excel proficiency the model can be extended. Each tab has the data for one chart. For example, the rolling annual tab collects the data needed for the line charts. Please be careful with the configuration tab, but here you can find the guts behind the functionality of the templates. Here's an example which shows how a correlation matrix was added to the report. We hope many of your current analytical models can be easily configured to use a new data format. Let's talk briefly about the data being exported. The raw data set created by Analytics is structured as a simple flat file and provides a full quarterly and annual time series of each KPI in the report. Each time series comes with an index code and index name that uniquely identifies the data. In this example, we're using the United States Apartments. Here we have the MPI as our universe. The variable column holds the name for each K KPI. For example, appreciation return. The frequency column is the code for the periodicity of the data. Where zero is quarterly data, 1 is annual data, 10 is for a 10-year average, and so on. The transformation column contains a methodology used to generate the value. For example, mean is the arithmetic average. Also reported is the sample size in the market value and the number of properties. Let's discuss how to use the exported data in an Excel pivot table. Going back to our original export file, we can insert a new pivot table from Table 1 tab. Select the entire range and insert the pivot table on a new worksheet. First, we'll add the index name to the column section. Then we'll add the period date to the row section. And then we'll add frequency and the variable fields to the top filter section. And then we'll set the variable to total return and pick one for the frequency to get our annual total return data. Lastly, we'll add values to the value section. The pivot table is now ready to explore. We can also, from this data, quickly create a simple line chart we can do that here. Well, this wraps up the NACREF On Demand Education module. In the knowledge base, we have links to all of the templates, including the analytics macro that can assist in uh, adjusting the charts. 
to use the macro, save all of the template files in the same directory, and open the macro file first. If you have any questions or suggestions, please ask a question to the knowledge base or call the staff at NACREF. Thanks again, and remember, it's a wacky world out there.